What's up guys, Ghulam Ahmed, geneactivated.ca. Good job guys, we're killing it so far. This is day five now for the fat loss at home Ramadan series workouts. We're gonna get right into it today. And if you've been following my workouts, make sure you've also been following my diet because they're kind of interrelated. We're not really gonna be in a fat burning zone if we're not eating healthy and eating whole foods. So try to avoid the processed foods in Aftar and if in, in, in your seti time, okay? Eat whole foods, lots of protein, lots of fruits and vegetables and lean meats so you can take advantage and get into that fat burning zone throughout the day and then even take it up a notch in these workouts, okay? So the, these workouts, try to start them 45 minutes before the iftar opens so that you can actually have enough time to finish it and open up the, the fast right at the end, okay? So let's get going. Today we're going to do three sets of 25 twisting mountain climbers, okay? So remember in day two, I showed you how to do mountain climbers that were going straight. This time we're gonna twist them a little bit. So we're gonna take the knee to the opposite elbow and it's gonna use a little bit more of your stomach, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you from this side this time. So we're gonna get into a push-up position and then you're gonna take your knee to the opposite elbow like this, twist and back, twist and back, twist and back, twist and back, just like this, that's six. So let's go, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Very nice. So you should have noticed that you can feel it in your core as well, in your stomach. At the same time, it's going to get you a little bit out of breath too. It's a good cardio exercise. So if you're somebody that's a beginner, do it exactly the way I'm doing it. If you're a little bit more advanced, you can actually go a little faster. So you keep going faster and that'll, you know, make it a little bit more challenging for you. So that was the first set. Okay. We're almost on the 30 second break that we're going to do. As you guys know, the drill 30 second between sets and one minute between break, uh, between exercises. Ready? I'll show you this time, this side. Give you all my angles, you know, ready? One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fifteen. 10, 12, 13, 15, breathe, 16, 17, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So make sure you're in a push-up position, okay? Your hands should be right underneath your chest. Your hand, your hands all the way out here. Okay, so second set, guys. Good job, done. You got one more set to go. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Just to recover. Very nice. Slow in, slow out. Ready? We're gonna do the one, the last set now. Third set. And let's go. One. Just gonna move up a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, and twenty five. There you go, guys. Three sets done. Twisting mountain climbers. Now we're gonna take our minute break. Take a few seconds to breathe and calm down. So let's do it together and go. Deep breaths in, guys. Deep breaths out. The next exercise that we're gonna be doing while we keep breathing, while you talk to, while you listen to me. So the next exercise is gonna be push-ups again, like we've been doing every single day, but today we're gonna to do something called close grip push-ups. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring your hands closer to you, even than before, before we were here, now we're gonna be here, and you're gonna make sure to keep the elbows tucked in, okay? This is a great exercise to build the inside part of your chest a little bit, to strengthen it, and also for your triceps. So we're gonna focus on our triceps for the push-ups. So I don't want you to do a lot of reps, I just want you to do 
anywhere between six to eight reps for this exercise, okay? So we're almost ready to get started now. We're gonna do three sets of six close grip push-ups, okay? So I'm gonna show you from here first. So again, keep your hands right underneath your chest, okay? And turn your hands out slightly like this, okay? So your elbow stays tucked in. So you're here, keep them close and turn them out slightly so your elbows stay tucked in. Keep them right underneath your chest. And as you go down your, your, your side, the inside of your arm should be grazing against the side of your, uh, your side here, okay? Right here, your rib cage, like this. And then you're gonna push up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I did eight, you can do four, you can do six, you can do eight, right? But the idea is keep them tucked in and push through the floor. You'll feel it in your triceps, mostly in the mi in middle of your chest. Okay, so that was the first set. We're gonna take a 30 second break. I'm gonna show you the second set at a bit of an angle here, probably in front of you so you can kind of see what I'm talking about so that you have a better idea of how to do it, right? Ready? So we're gonna get started now for the second one in about five seconds. So watch this, see? Hands are turned out a little bit like this, right? And we're gonna go close, come back up. Let me get the hands a little bit closer. There. Two, putting my weight on top of my hands, leaning forward, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, if you're having difficulty, you can open up your elbows a little bit, you know, use your shoulders a little bit to help you out, but that's the way to do it, so you can target your triceps, again, without any, any machines or any equipment like that, just use your body weight to really work for you, right? So, that was your second set, guys, good job. We got one more set to go, okay? so. We're gonna do the third set, then we're gonna move on to the next exercise. So we're gonna get ready now for the third set. I'm gonna show you this side. And ready to go in five seconds. Again, if you're somebody more advanced, you can do them on your feet as well, same thing, right? This, down and back. Two, but we're gonna stay on your knees. Three. Five. Six, breathe, seven, and squeeze it out, eight. Beautiful, guys. So that's your three sets done for the close grip push-ups. Three sets of six to eight. You could even do four, because it's trying to build some strength, right? And also to maintain the muscle mass in our upper body. So good job. Let's take a few seconds. Let's breathe. Breathe in nice and slow. Breathe out nice and slow. Breathe in, breathe out, very nice. And as usual, now we're gonna do some core work. Okay, again, uh, I really wanna focus on the core, help you burn a lot of the fat there also, you know, just to help you strengthen it and improve your balance and flexibility. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do something called the alternating leg raise exercise. Okay, so I'm gonna take you through it. We're gonna again do it on the floor. And the biggest thing with this exercise, again, is I want you to make sure your lower back is always flat against the, the ground, okay? It can't come up and arch. So what you're gonna do is keep your hands down, legs straight up here, drop one leg, keep the other leg where it is, and then pull back. And switch, two, three, four, five, Six, now if you're a beginner, it's gonna to be tough to go all the way down, so you can do here, six, seven, a little bit less, eight, and if you get more and more comfortable, you can start to go lower and lower, nine, 10, and then if you're really good, you can go right at the edge and come back, 12, 13, now you're pulling back with your stomach, 14, 15, 16, 17, making sure that you're 18, lower back is on the floor. 19 and 20, good job guys. So you can do less, okay? If you'd like, you can do maybe 15, right? You can do even 10 or 12, it's a little tough if you've never done it before. So again, you wanna pull with your stomach, you don't wanna pull with your hip flexor or your leg, okay? So again, think about engaging your core and pull the weight of your leg back with your stomach, okay? So that was your first set, let's do the second set. 
Again, we're gonna do 20 in about five seconds. And again, another thing is you wanna be able to pause, right? You don't wanna go like this fast. We're gonna go nice and controlled. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. If you're getting tired, you can do it here. 15, 16, 17, 18, and 20. It's fairly challenging, guys. It's a great exercise to build the uh, muscles in the lower abdomen, okay? And also to help tighten the skin down there too for you, right? So great for anybody that's looking to kind of, you know, tighten up some loose skin down there, your last 10, 15 pounds you have left, and just in general, overall strengthen down there as well. So that's great. That's your second next exercise. Now, as you can see that my stomach was shaking and that's a good sign. That means my stomach is really working. So this is the last set now. I'll show you this side. Whew. Get ready. And let's do the last one, okay? One, two, breathe. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And 20, that was tough. So even for me right now, it's pretty tough. So if you want, you can do 15, you can do 10. And if you really want to do quick it, you, you can do, do it quickly. You can kind of just, what is quick it? If you really want to do it quickly, you can go faster. So at 10, you can go 11, 12, 13, 14, faster it and just finish it off, right? Make sure there's no arch in your lower back though, okay? So that's good, guys, that's three sets done. Let's take a minute break now. We're gonna breathe again. Let's get back into breathing. Very nice. So that should help to bring your heart rate down a little bit. And now we're gonna do uh, stationary lunges, okay? So I recently put out a video on this on my YouTube channel. You can go and watch that in detail in terms of how to do it exactly perfectly so you don't have any issues with your knees. But this is a great exercise for your legs to strengthen your legs overall in general and for your unilateral work. So your single leg strength as well. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna step, okay? Split our legs here. You want both knees to be at 90 degrees here. You're gonna push through the floor here with your front heel, not your toe, okay? So your heel should not come off the floor. Keep the heel down and push and come up. One, two, three. Bending this knee, four. Making sure they're both 90 degrees. Five, let's move that back a little bit. Six, again, do this against the wall. You can hold on for support if you need. Otherwise, keep your hands at your hips. Six, good job, seven, eight, nine, 10, very nice. So now we're gonna do the other side. Just turn around, same thing. You can do it the way that I just did it because my feet didn't move at all, but you can also just kind of step out and do it. So right here, one, push through the front heel, okay? Two, try to put all the weight on the front leg. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and 10. I got a little off balance there. It's because my core wasn't engaged. So you gotta make sure you core, engage your core as well so you can actually don't lose your balance. So also you can use something to hold on to beside you. So the wall is pretty great. So let's breathe. That was your first set, two more sets. I think I'm doing these breathing exercises more for myself than for you guys because it really helps me calm down. <laughs> so ready guys, just hope you guys are breathing. We got five seconds, we're gonna do the next exercise now. I'm gonna show you from the front this time, okay? So right here. One, two, great. Three, keep going guys, you're doing amazing. Four, five, six, stay with me, breathe. Seven, 
eight, nine, and one more, 10. Beautiful, let's switch. You can take a little break if you need, okay? In between these sets, take a five, 10, 15, 20 minute break. Second, not two minutes. Switch, one, two, three. We're almost done this exercise, guys. Four, after this, we have five, six, one more exercise. Seven, then we're gonna do the stretching. We're all done for day five. Your first week is gonna be done soon. Nine, 10. Ooh, bang my knee a little bit there. That's okay. All right, so good job. That's your uh, second set done. We got one more set to go. Let's breathe. 30 seconds. Again, feel free to take longer, 45 seconds, even a minute. That's why I'm giving you about 45 minutes before your iftar time. So you have that extra buffer of 15 minutes to kind of get things ready. Okay, so the last one, ready? One, two, three, breathe. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very nice. So we're making sure we're pushing with the front heel, the front leg, okay? Switching and let's go. Last one guys, let's go, come on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, beautiful, okay. Great work guys so far. So now we're gonna do our last exercise which is called the wall slides, okay? This is more of an exercise for posture, also for, it's actually great for uh, correcting your posture. So if you're somebody that hunches forward a lot, right? And you're an office worker, you're always on, uh, in front of a computer, you have neck pain, shoulder pain, right? Your shoulders are rounded forward, right? So it's a great exercise for that. And a reason, a good quick tip I'll tell you to know if you're actually having issues with your posture is if you stand straight, right? just normally, if you were holding two flashlights and if they were on, the beams of the flashlights should not be able to intersect, okay? So I have some issues with my posture too, nobody's perfect. So I work on this as well and it's getting better. So like for example, look, if I'm standing straight now, look at my posture, right? If I was holding two flashlights, they would intersect, right? Because I need to do some work too. So now if I pull my shoulders back here, this is where I should be normally. Now look, the beams would be going straight. So this is an exercise to help you with that. So what I want you to do is get against the wall. Okay, I want you to bend down a little bit here. If you want, just a little bit. The idea is that your back, the whole part of your back, from the back to the top, should be square against the wall. There should be no space at all times. The idea is not to get any space at all, no matter what. So I like to lean back against the wall, make sure there's no space here. And now what I'm gonna do is, the idea is to slide your palms, your elbow, and your fingertips on the wall up like this, wall slides and bring it back. Now, the purpose of this is not to actually touch the wall. If you can, you have great posture, you can, but if you don't, the main purpose is make sure your back is flat and against the wall. So for example, when I start, I can only just want make, make sure you do my, mostly my fingertips because I need a lot of work to do, but ideally I should be able to touch here and then slide the whole way through. I can do it because I've been working on it, but if you can't, even if you want, keep your hands out here, that's fine. Right, just do this motion. You're trying to go as high as you can, reach for the roof and come back. Two, three, breathe in, breathe out. Four, breathe in, five, breathe in, six, breathe in, seven, breathe in, eight. Okay, so seemed easy, right? But if you try to really fight, take a break now, 30 seconds. If you really fight, you'll really start to see that it's really tough on your shoulders and your back as well. You'll really start to feel like this really aching, cringy feeling. And that's your body trying to fight through that postural correction and helping you increase your posture and your flexibility and mobility. So the next set I'm gonna show you, I'm really gonna try to fight and I'm gonna try to touch my fingertips at least and see the difference, ready? Now watch, so chest is up, but making sure that my back is flat against the wall. I'm gonna really try to fight and try to at least have my fingertips touch, see? One, 
two. As you can see, look at how much I'm struggling. Three, breathe. Four. So you wanna to touch them on the way up and on the way back. Five. Six, so we're gonna do six, okay? Now you notice, right? I was able to get a little bit further back. I was able to touch my fingertips and almost all of my fingers. So now that's opening up a little bit. By the third set, you'll notice I'll be able to touch my palm as well. And eventually, if I do this on a regular basis, my elbows will touch my palm and my fingertips, and I'll be sliding right against the wall every time. And this is a great exercise to help you with your upper back, your traps, your neck, your posture overall, for even if you're in the office or if you're at home. Okay, ready? So let's try it again. All right, see, look, palms are on now. Now my fingertips are on. One, remember guys, your back cannot come off the wall, the lower back. If my lower back comes off the wall, look, right, so easy, I don't wanna do that. Three. Four, it's very challenging guys. Five. Ah, six. So see how I almost got my even my elbows for the last few, right? So that's what you want to do. Slowly, slowly, you'll be able to build up to it. I haven't done this in a while, but again, my posture will get corrected eventually. So that's how you do it, guys. That's your workout for today. Great, you're doing great. So first week is done. We're gonna do continue again next week, okay, on Monday. So you have a break for the weekend. Go enjoy your dinners, have fun. Hope you guys had a good time. We're gonna do your stretch now quickly before you leave, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a quad stretch today to help you with these because I know we did a little bit of lunges and they'll be on fire. So, so what we're gonna do is you're just gonna hold on to something if you need to, but I don't really don't hold on to something, but you can it's for support. And all I want you to do is bend one leg, okay? Grab it from your ankle here and pull it back towards you, just like this. Now the idea is you have to make sure your whole body is straight. Some people when they do this stretch, they do it like this. That's not gonna stretch the quad. You have to make sure you're straight and then you also have to engage your butt, this butt cheek, engage it, meaning flex it, and then pull back. And now you'll feel the whole stretch in your quad. So you can hold on to support like this and just hold and breathe. And again, make sure it's straight. It's not, you're not leaning forward here. You're not like here, right? Hold. Breathe. Make sure the quad is engaged. This is also great for hip flexor stretches as well. Sometimes it gets to your hip flexor too. So let's hold that for 15 seconds there, then we're gonna switch. You can hold it for longer if you want, right? Again here, you can engage this butt cheek and squeeze and pull. Three, four, breathe. Twelve, 13, 14, 15. There you have it guys, your stretches are done. Day five in the books, you guys did amazing. I'm super proud of you, you made it this far. Guys, you've been fasting this month. If you have, like this video, share it with your family and friends that are also fasting so they can also get help and they can also you know, benefit from this month and also lose a lot of fat and look amazing by the end of it. It'll be a way to pay it forward for me. Guys, keep me in your prayers as well. This has been tough for me. You know, I'm trying to work really hard for you guys. So remember me in your prayers in this blessed month and I remember you in your prayers. I'll see you guys for next week on day six.